In our last video, we learned how to set out the balusters across a horizontal handrail, and then I showed you how to change that into a slope length to set out balusters up the slope of the stairs. So in this video, we're going to continue with the earlier exercise to try and work out our baluster set out for that job. In that job, the going of the flight is 2030. We calculated the pitch, 31.827 degrees. And for this part, we need to know the newel size, 90 by 90, and the baluster is 30 by 30. We found out last time to get the horizontal set out length, we needed the space between the newels plus one baluster. That gave us the correct set out for our balusters once we'd done the further calcs. Now, in this example, which is the same as the, all the ones in the book, it's also the same as the one that we build in the practical um, exercise at TAFE and in the exam, they are all set out the same way. What they do is put the going of the flight from the first riser to the last riser where it hits the deck, they put that right in the centre of the newel post. The same here, the going of the flight finishes right in the centre of the newel post. Now be aware, this might be how it's taught at TAFE, but certainly not all stairs are built that way. So what I would always suggest to get the horizontal set out length is to measure the newel to newel distance. You will build the newels first before you put the handrail in. So measure that distance and add one baluster. But for this example, we'll, get, we'll run with the TAFE method. So to get the horizontal set out length, We've got the going of the flight, minus half a newel on this side, minus half a newel on that side. That will give us the space between the two newel posts, plus one baluster. If we take away half a newel on this side, and half a newel on that side, that's the same as taking away a full newel width. So the formula comes out as going of flight, minus a newel plus one baluster. So if we look at that with our numbers that we've got already, the going of the flight, 2030 minus a whole newel, two half newels, 90 mil, plus one baluster, 30 mil. If I put that through the calculator, I get 19. 70. Okay, next if you remember from the last video, we needed a trial grouping. The trial grouping created by the width of the baluster plus the maximum space that we can have between the balusters. Building Code of Australia says that space is 125 mil max, so we use 124 mil. So, to get our Royal grouping. It's the maximum gap 
plus 30 mil because our balusters are 30 mil. So that gives us 154 as our trial grouping. Next we want to find out how many groupings will fit in this space. That's our horizontal set out length, that's our trial. So we're going to use number of groupings. It will be our horizontal sit-out space, 1970. Divided by our trial grouping, 154. If I put that in the calculator, I get 12.792. Now remember, we must always round up. Even if that came to a lower decimal, close to 12, we would still round up. So we go up, we're gonna try 13. If we round up, we always make the space between the balusters slightly less. If we round it down, we would open the spacing up and exceed our 125 mil maximum. So the next thing to work out is the horizontal spacing. We have a Set out distance 1970, and we've worked out we've got 13 spaces. So if we put that through the calculator, we get 151.538. So that's our true grouping or horizontal set out. To run these up the slope, if you remember from the last video, I explained it was a similar calculation to working out the set out length of a common rafter, and we know the half span. We're gonna use the same formula. So I'm gonna use the slope set out formula. So that's the horizontal spacing divided by the pitch, because of the pitch. 151.538. Divided by the cos, our pitch here, 31.827. Calculator. Hundred seventy eight point three five five millimeters. Round that to one decimal place, that is hundred seventy eight point three, and set those out in incremental set outs using your iPhone or a calculator and run them up the slope of, the, of our stringer and also up the slope of the handrail. That's our position for our balusters.